podcast um it's been a hot minute since I've made a video the last video I made was my tiny little vlog of the Maryland sheep and wool festival um but since then it's been a while since I filmed a podcast so I have a lot to talk about um it is hot outside it's a beautiful day so I felt like filming a podcast outside I'm drinking a raspberry lemonade out of my little Winnie the Pooh glass and oh what am I wearing today I'll put it right here. I cannot remember. <laughs> um, you can follow me on Instagram as smitten.nitten, um, Ravelry as thines42. I'll put everything in the description box below that we talk about today, as well as um, links to all of my social media. Okay, let's just dive right in. So, First and foremost, if you watched my vlog for the um, Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival, you would have seen this. This is the Pasadena skirt. Um, I crocheted this out of Drops Lima and I wore it to the Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival and it was such a hit. Everybody loved it. I did make some alterations to this. Um, I made the waistband smaller um, than called for in the um, pattern. And I also did a um, scalloped edge instead of um, whatever it showed in the pattern um, because I didn't really like the edging on it. But I like the little scalpeled edge. Um, and then I also added some, a few extra rows to the back. Oh no, I didn't do extra rows. I just made them treble crochets instead of double crochets um, for two rows so two rows before um, the end two rows before the last row I did treble crochets instead of um, double crochets and I did that just for the back half and I also added a little I don't know if this is in the pattern or not but I added a little um, just a chain cord to it to cinch it in the waist and I think it turned out so cute and I really love it the next finished object I made two of these um, they are both the December bows by Petite Knit, and they were knit in Knitting for Olive some color, I can't remember. This one is for me, and this is for my friend Sydney. I finished this a while ago, and I keep forgetting to give it to her. Every single time I see her, I'm like, I forgot your bow again. I love these bows. I wear them all the time. Um, I have a green one as well as this pink one, and I want to make more. Um, I also made this one for my friend Gabby for her birthday, and I used um, just a bunch of mohair um, held together for hers. Um, the next thing I don't have with me right now, but here's a picture of it. It is the Bumblebee cardigan. I don't remember by who, um, but I knit it for my friend, my sister's friend's daughter's first birthday. Um, her name is Lola B, so I knitted her a little B cardigan, and they loved it. Um, next up is a test crochet that I did, um, a crochet test pattern that I did. It is the Fruit Beret by Irichi. Um, this was really fun to test knit, um, test crochet. I didn't knit it, I crocheted it. I just used um, scraps for these, and I blocked it. Um, and the way I blocked it, at first it was all wonky around the, um, what, the brim here? It was all really wonky. I decided to block it again to try to make it not wonky, and I used, a, like, a pot to do it. Um, and that just made it way too wide, so I added some elastic in it, and I have not woven in all of my ends. I wove in everything but the elastic and the black for the seeds. But this is super cute. I love watermelons. Um, it, it is wool, so it's not great for the summer, but I will be wearing this in the future. Okay, next is the classic by Espache Trico. 
This is my third one of these I've made. Only my second one for myself though. I made one for my friend Kim. Um, I made this out of loops and threads, um, flex in the color ivory. Um, I knit size two and the only alteration that I made is that I made it into a turtleneck. I usually make it a turtleneck um, whenever I make this. Actually, I've only ever made it a turtleneck when I made this. Um, but this time I did a little um, split hem, uh, which is called for in the pattern, but I've never done that before. I usually just knit it in the round. For Kim, um, I did just straight in the round um, ribbing, but for the first one that I made, I added short rows to the um, bottom of it, which I really enjoyed. And then, sorry I'm rushing through this. I have somewhere to be and I just found out that I have to leave like soon. So <laughs> trying to go fast here. Um, next, uh, last finished object. I'm in my blanket era right now. So I just finished this. This is a little baby blanket. Um, this was the Blossoms and Blooms by Knit Sirdar um, Crochet Along. I did not follow the pattern exactly. Um, I did the edging different. I didn't use the um, <laughs> recommended yarn because I wanted to use scrap yarn because I didn't want to, I'm trying to use up yarn. I'm trying not to buy yarn right now. And um, it was a smaller weight of yarn as well. So I used a smaller hook size and it's more of like a baby blanket size now and I really like it. So all that's left to do with this now is I just have to wash it and then find a baby to give it to. <laughs> um, but I think it's really cute. I really like the colors that I used. I like that it's very um, pastel. So I'm a big fan of that. On to works in progress. I have a half finished object. These are the Herding Cat Socks by Stone Knits. Um, I changed these up a little bit because I didn't like the heel that was called for in the pattern. I have found that I don't like short um, row heels. I only like a heel flap and gusset because they fit my foot the best. So I had to figure out how to um, do the cat color work to include the gusset. And I think it worked out fine. Um, I totally could have added a um, fourth repeat of the cats to this sock, but honestly, I don't think it's really a big deal that I didn't. Um, yeah, and I literally just now, while, while sitting here, I was waiting for my iPad to charge, so I had access to the things that I was, to my Ravelry, because my iPad was dead. I cast on the second sock, because <laughs> I hadn't cast it on for a while, so I literally just cast it on and um, knit one row and that's it. Um, I am knitting size two. I'm using um, just some sock yarn scraps for the color work and this is Aunt Dee's Room by Fangirl Fibers. This was from her um, 2023 um, Toy Story advent. And yeah, I really love them. I think they're so cute. I'm like a certified cat girl. So I'm really excited to have these. Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. I'm not gonna lie because it is um, sock, summer sock camp and I have yet to finish a pair of socks and I'm only working on one right now. So whoops, I'm just, I've been feeling blankets lately. I love blankets. I have a lot to show you. So buckle up here. I'm also more so in my crochet era lately. I've been crocheting a lot more than I've been knitting, which is weird for me. So this is a, um, just a random cotton granny square um, sweater that I'm making. Um, I figured it would be nice for like cool summer nights, like on the beach or whatever. Um, I'm not following a pattern. It's just random how I'm doing it. And um, I just split for the sleeves. So I'm going to do one more row here and I'm the same thing on the back. And then I'm going to um, attach it with like two granny squares on the side and then add sleeves and then it should be done. Um, I haven't worked on this in a little bit, so I don't know when it's going to be done, but I'll finish it at some point. And I'm using a 4.25 um, millimeter hook for this and some worsted weight yarn or um, fingering weight held double. I'm just using up a bunch of my cotton yarn scraps. Next, 
this has been a work in progress for a very long time. This is um, a mohair cardigan that I have been working on and it's going to be super long, like go like to past my knees. Um, and it's been a like very, very long work in progress. This is how much I've worked on since the last time I showed you. Yeah, honestly, not that bad. Ooh, considering I haven't worked on it in probably like three or four weeks at this point. Um, this is a, I'm doing this um, on a 2.25 millimeter needle and um, I'm holding mohair double. So it is a labor of love and it's taking forever, but it's fine. I don't have to do any purling for this project, thankfully, because I'm just knitting back and forth. But I think it's really pretty and I think it's really fun. And one day I'll have it and it'll be a super great like statement piece to wear. So, and it's also really nice because I'm just using up a bunch of mohair scraps. This is another thing that I'm working on. It is a granny stripe um, button down shirt that I am making for my partner. Um, I finished the, this is the front right, and then I'm working on the back now. I'm not following a pattern for this. I'm loosely following the measurements that I used for this pattern because um, I originally made this for my boyfriend but it ended up being too small for him um, so yeah now I'm just following I'm just holding it up to him as I go <laughs> and um, yeah so so far he really likes it and hopefully he'll have it um, sometime this summer to wear so I guess I gotta get working on this I'm using a 2.5 millimeter hook and I am using um hmm what is this it's cascade Pima cotton and the color is black and white. Next, I found this tutorial on YouTube for a like maxi crochet skirt. And I'm like, oh, that's gonna be so fun. So I'm, I'm, I have um, a lot of this scrap yarn. It's not scrap yarn, but it was, it was a project that my partner's um, grandma was working on, but she doesn't knit or crochet anymore because it hurts her hands so she gave me all of her yarn and she was making a blanket out of this yarn and I was just like I'm not going to finish that I'm not going to do that so I am using that yarn and I'm making a little like whimsy goth maxi skirt so this is as far as I've gone gotten I also plan on making a matching not matching but like a black long sleeve like shirt to go along with it. And I think that'll be really fun for like October. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like whimsy goth and it's, it feels very witchy and very hippie and I'm very into that. So I'm excited to have this when I have it. And there's gonna be a lot of like decorations that I add to it. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna sew lace on it and maybe some beads and like crochet flowers and stuff. And it's gonna be, in my opinion, very cool. And I'm excited to do something fun like that. Okay, next, um, I haven't added much to this, but this is a blanket that I am making out of <coughs> my partner's grandma's yarn that she gave me. Um, so I took all of her worsted weight yarn and I am crocheting a blanket out of it. I'm going to be giving this to his mom, and if I have enough yarn to make a second, then I'll be giving it to his aunt. Um, I think it's really pretty. It's just gonna be like a throw blanket, nothing too crazy or too big, um, but I really like the colors together, and I think it's going to be beautiful and really sentimental to have. I'm trying to fly through this because I, I don't have much time, but. So bear with me if you think I'm going a little too fast, but hopefully you think it's fine. This is a project that I started in 2020. Um, it's a baby blanket and it, I, I'm not really, I don't think I'm following a pattern for it. Okay, so I don't think I'm following a pattern for this, but I'm calling this the woven, what is it? The woven baby blanket. I'm using the same yarn that I made knit the classic in. So loops and threads flex. Um, so it's just like a, it's just a woven, all of the information will be on Ravelry. Um, however, when I first started this in 2020, I 
accidentally had been twisting my stitches. So now that I don't do that, I was like, I'm not gonna just go back and be twisting my stitches. Like I personally, I can't do that. It would stress me out. <laughs> so my gauge is off now, but honestly, I don't really care that much. It's just a blanket. It's gonna be fine. I did go down a needle size. Um, I'm doing a four millimeter needles now, and I think before I was doing 4.25. Um, yeah, this is the last of this yarn that I have. So yeah, I'm just gonna be finished when this ball of yarn is finished, and that's gonna be it. I think it's really pretty. I really like it, and um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just really into knitting, like making baby blankets right now. I just wanna make baby blankets. I don't have any, like, Nobody in my life is pregnant. I don't, nobody's asked me for a baby blanket. <laughs> I'm not pregnant, nor will I be pregnant anytime soon. But I don't know, I'm just in my baby blanket era and baby blankets are literally all that I wanna make right now. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Another baby blanket. <laughs> oh, is the Secret, Secret Garden Round Baby Blanket by Kirsten Holloway. Um, I am not, I'm not quite following the pattern correctly um, because I am using a smaller hook size and a smaller and um, some sport weight yarn. So the yarn I'm using is also from my partner's grandma. Um, this is Red Heart Baby Sport Pomodoro Multi and Print in the color Sweet Dreams. And I'm using a four and a half millimeter hook. So I think it's really cute. This is the last of the yarn. So once I'm done with the yarn, I'm done with the blanket. That's kind of like my vibe right now. When I'm done, I'm done when I run out of yarn. <laughs> so um, I think this is oh, precious. Isn't this so cute? I really like it. Um, and yeah, it's been really, really fun to work on. I'm like really surprised at how much I've been enjoying crochet lately because crochet is not like my first love. My first love is knitting. But crochet, I mean, hello, how precious. I love it. And it just goes so quickly. And I don't know, I just really, really like it. And I'm excited to give it to a baby one day. I don't know what baby, but it'll be a baby. <laughs> Last but not least is the Heirloom Quilt Cardigan by Katrin Seeberger. I, I haven't been working on this for a while. This is the square I'm currently working on. I'm doing brown and green. All of this yarn I got at the Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival with my friend Lena. Um, and this is our um, um, Rhinebeck project. So we are making the same sweater out of the same yarn but different colors. And um, we're gonna wear it to Rhinebeck. So I, I blocked a few squares. Here's all of them. <laughs> I think they're so pretty. And then these are not blocked. I didn't block them with soap or anything, just water. And then once they're done, once the whole thing is put together, I'll wash it with soap and everything. Um, I love this pattern. I think it is so fun. I don't think I showed you this one. Um, yeah. I'm just obsessed. I love it. I can't wait for it to be done. Ever since Katrin um, released it, I've been like, oh, I need to make that. So thank God Lena was like, I'm on board because I would have been sad if not. Um, these are the colors that Lena's using. She just cast on the other day and I can't wait to see how they look, how they come together. I'm just so thrilled. Okay. Well, I did, I hope I flew through that because I do have to leave probably in like 10 minutes. Um, life updates, um, nothing much really. Um, I'm in a musical called Big Fish that opens in Annapolis, Maryland on August 8th. I will be doing every performance as Josephine um, Thursdays through Sundays, except for August 31st. My lovely understudy, Mary, will be um, Josephine that day. So yeah, that's really all that I have. I guess books and stuff. Um, I'm listening to audiobooks. I've been listening to, I can't remember what the series is actually called, but the one I'm listening right to right now is called like Through Darkness, Darkness and Shadows or something like that. And that's really good. I started reading, like physically reading, Little Women. 
I got a bunch of books from my mom and I was like, what am I gonna do with all of these? And so I got a bookshelf and I'll show you the bookshelf because it's gorgeous. So I was looking at my bookshelf and I was like, well, I have a bookshelf now, so I guess I need to like physically read. So I'm not like a poser. So I'm doing that and yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little podcast. Sorry if it was kind of short, sorry, sorry. Oh my gosh, sorry if it was a little hectic, but yeah, I just really wanted to show you guys what I've been working on because I haven't shown you guys anything in a while. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you're having a great start to the summer. So yeah, it's like 83 degrees right now, but it's overcast, so it's been a great day. My boyfriend and um, our roommate are going to go we gotta go like right now because they're about to perform a show. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.